I need to get this girl on a stable platform and out of the ocean. His skin grey from a lack of oxygen and dizzy from low blood pressure. Valeri could be in the early stages of cardiac arrest. It's actually a lot worse than I thought. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like <laughs> I honestly thought that once we jab her, it'd be like basically an instant kind of response. Just as things started to settle down on the waterfront, a young girl came into the tower. Uh, she was okay. super pale, she was shaking, and she looked really sick. Okay, what are you allergic to? I'm allergic to nuts. 19-year-old Catherine is a student from Adelaide. Have you had any carbon nuts today? Of course. I don't know. You don't know? Might right. just... Yes. It might have been the ice cream, I don't know. Okay. It feels literally like the inside of my mouth is swelling up. What do you normally do? You carry it on you? I carry an EpiPen, but it's fired. We have an EpiPen here, it's OK, so don't worry about that. Mouse has never administered an EpiPen injection before. I wasn't sure at what point throughout an anaphylactic fit, do you actually administer the EpiPen? So, a radio beardy, because he's the man with the knowledge. Straight away, and rest the guidance. Ambulance, please. We're, we're gonna use the EpiPen, okay? Mouse decides this is a two-man job. <laughs> Mouse just kind of threw it off onto me. I don't think I had much of a choice. He said, you can do it. We just want to get you to calm down as much as possible. I'm trying to calm down. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's all right. Look, the EpiPen, it's not going to hurt, OK? It's just going to give you a... It just freaked me out so much. No, 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 that's all right. That's no, fine. I've never had to use it, and I'm, like, really scared of needles as well. EpiPen injections must be held in the skin for three seconds. Yeah, so I'm just going to put it here and have to put it here and I thought I'd do it. It's only... One jab. I'm just gonna hold down and do it. So you're ready to go. But it's something that you don't want to get wrong. One, two. Because you only get one chance. I honestly thought that once we jab her, it'd be like basically an instant kind of response. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like a response. Yeah, that's all right. It's all good. We'll just give it five, ten minutes. Ambos will be here very soon. Um, but the adrenaline seemed to have a pretty good effect on her ten minutes after we jabbed her. It always felt like the plastic ones that they use in the first eight. Yeah. It was a bit nerve-wracking, but at the end of the day, yeah, it went, went pretty good. How are you feeling now? You kind of feel like you can breathe a bit better? Yeah? I think you look a lot better. She looks heaps better, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I tried to palm the EpiPen off on the mouse and he gave me the cold shoulder, so I hit her in the thigh. Give her that. The back of my throat, I just felt like I, it was so squashy that I almost couldn't breathe at one point. I just felt really overridden with panic. Normally with an anaphylactic attack brought on by food, it's normally something like nuts or fish. What'd you have for lunch? But this girl had a burger for lunch. What'd you eat? Um, double cheeseburger. Double, sorry. Double. double. Might have sent you up here. <laughs> double cheeseburger. It was just that extra patty. Just stick to the singles. Lifeguards are relieved when paramedics arrive to take over. What's your name, mate? My name's Catherine. Catherine. Oh, damn, and that's me. Has it gotten better? It's gotten a lot better. Okay. His skin grey from a lack of oxygen and dizzy from low blood pressure. Valeri could be in the early stages of cardiac arrest. Just jump in the buggy, please. Sometimes it's really hard to point something out, especially if they don't know their surroundings. So we put her in the front of the buggy with us and uh, we drove. Just, uh, uh, buggy to Central. We've got someone pulled in the water, uh, second ramp. We can't find him yet. Can you get on the bike? Something going on. I can't look it out yet. Yeah. Something going on. Just wait, wait, Gates. Yeah. Wait a minute until I find out. Information is patchy. Can you just ask him what, it, what it's going on? Just, I don't know what's happening yet. But it's clear someone has been pulled out of the water. Corey fears a drowning may have occurred. Every time you approach a, a, an incident, you know, you take it on board what it could be and you really hope that it's not. Yeah, we're on the scene now. Thank you. Thank you. We could see that he was laying face down and it was like, wow, like, what's... How's this happening? Now you got pulled out. Pulled out by the 
80-year-old Valeri has been pulled from the water, barely conscious and struggling to breathe. You try and, um, you know, get as much information as you can from their friends or whoever else was there that saw it. It's drowning or something. It was rolling on the waves. Valeri had to be pulled from the water by members of the public. Each of us grabbed an arm and a leg and helped them all the way out until we got some, uh, some extra help out here. Fearing that Valeri may be on the verge of a heart attack, Jake and Yatesy bring the defibrillator. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just breathe and relax. Okay. And we'll go the Valeri's wife watches on. You know, we, we just needed to get the oxygen on him as soon as possible and try and, try and open his airways and help him uh, breathe on his own. So this is just strong oxygen to make him feel better straight away, and then we'll go from there. His skin grey from a lack of oxygen and dizzy from low blood pressure, Valeri could be in the early stages of cardiac arrest. If on my central to south, give us an update. Lifeguards want Valeri prepared for hospital as quickly as possible. We just had to get him out of the heat. It's really hot today and it's just sitting straight in the sun. It's just like, we got to go. It's vital that Valeri is seen by paramedics immediately. Need you to move, mate. Come on. We'll assess him, see how much he swallowed. Put your head down. We've got to lay him down on his back and raise his legs, just get the blood sort of tilting back towards his head. I feel sick in the cell. He didn't swallow the water. I always put him on oxygen. He did it. Oh, guys. He's feeling really dizzy. So you guys have to bring him in. He's a big guy. He's about to, you know, as we found out, he's about to turn 80. And um, he... I think he just... Maybe a wave went over the top of his head and sort of got a bit scared or he might have gone a bit deep and lost his footing. Paramedics need to understand what happened to Valeri in the water. You feel nauseous? You feel like being sick? You vomit? Sure, no. Just haven't hit your head? Just no. No. Just a little bit. A little bit dizzy. Dizzy. OK, just relax, Valeri. It's all right. You're not lightheaded or anything. Breathing OK, get some good breaths nice and slowly. Yeah. Feel OK? Not dizzy? During the assessment, Valeri's condition improves. OK, colour too. It's coming back. Yeah. OK. So it's coming back nicely, yeah? The medical emergency may be over, but Valeri... <laughs> still has other Normal pressing coloring. needs. Yeah. We just need a toilet. Need a toilet? <laughs> 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 Can you take him to the car with me? Yeah, of course. There you go. Oh, Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's not in Australia. Is it? Such no, anything for Santa Claus. Is it for Santa Claus? Anything for Santa Claus? I owe him big time. Still for Santa Claus, but it's better. Valeri will need a trip in the ambulance. Feel OK walking? But instead of hospital, it'll be a lift to his car. I could see why she was holding on so tightly. It's probably one of the worst ones I've seen. It's actually a lot worse than I thought. We've got a lady who's crouched over who looks like she's in a lot of pain, huh? Glove up, mate. Every season life guys tell you to glove up. You don't muck around, you don't think about it twice. You, yeah, you do it. Oh, it looks like a fin shop on her thigh. She looks like she's pretty scared. The femoral artery runs down the upper thigh. If severed, a person can bleed out in minutes. Sorry, I need you to show me again. I need you to show me again. The wound can't be treated without a visual assessment. I need you to let go. I need you to let go for me. When she finally took her hands off it, it was the craziest laceration I've ever seen. Yeah, Corey's pretty bad. It was really, really bad cut. Really deep. Yeah, Chapo, can you please get an ambulance, mate? Any description that we can give them? Yeah, mate, it's left leg. And, uh, get up the alien. Blood flow wasn't too bad. It's really weird with big cuts like that. You'd think there'd be a lot of blood happening, and thankfully it wasn't. Okay, ready? Yes, yeah. all right. A number 15 bandage is applied. It's the biggest dressing in the lifeguard's first aid kit. Our job kind of becomes to make them as comfortable as possible before they can get it fixed. 
Emmanuel is from France. Right, we need to get you into here, OK? It's her first time to Bondi and her first time attempting to surf. They've rented a couple of boards. You know, even though they're soft boards, the, the fins are pretty hard. Emmanuel's brother was watching from the beach when the accident happened. So when the wave arrives, uh, the surf uh, on the right, and when he fall, he cut the, the skin. Uh. Want to lie down? You're OK. You're OK. Paramedics must assess the wound. You've been surfing today, yeah? And ensure no major arteries are at risk. Sorry, my love, I just need to get this bandage out of the road. Which we got another look at it and it was just like... It's actually a lot worse than I thought. Oh, welcome to Bondi, hey? Okay. Let's go have a little. Oh, okay. So we've no, got a sorry, skin tear. Well, um, I could see why she was holding on so tightly. It's probably one of the worst ones I've seen. We're not going to do anything with it. We're just changing the dressing. We'll wrap it back up, and we'll take you up to the hospital. Emmanuel requires microsurgery in hospital. Thank you. Thank you. Hold the board. And when I get there, there's two guys. And I'm like, whoa, I didn't even know there was two of them because I couldn't see. Two men are caught in a flash rip. The waves make it hard for lifeguards on the sand to see how many patients need help. At that point, I only saw one guy, really, that I thought I was going to have to go for. I would say it's more than likely that you're going to have to go at some stage. I know how quickly the water's moving, that I have to go. Go, Bertie. He needs some help. I have to jump in, run through, wait for a few waves on the shore break so I can get a clean run to get out to this guy. It is their life that's on the line, so you hope that they can keep their head above water just long enough so that you can get there, and you just hope that they don't go under the water. We must have been paddling out 100, 150 metres off the beach. Come on, mate, get out there. Lifeguards hope the swimmers aren't hit by a large wave before they reach them. These two men are out of luck. Oh, we got you. Yeah, we've got a second person waving for help. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. When the surf's up and we've got a busy beach, you know, you kind of want your mate to come out and, and back you up. Yeah, we must have been 100, 150 metres off the beach. And when I get there, there's two guys, and I'm like, whoa, I didn't even know there was two of them because I couldn't see from paddling out. This is really not good. Had to throw them both on the board, thinking to myself, we get cleaned up by a sand, I'm going to lose one of these guys for sure. Maybe both of them, maybe the board, but turn around and Chapo's right there, which was pretty big relief for me. Patients are both students from Colombia. The danger may be over for them, but the flash rep has more havoc up its sleeve. Oh, I've got another couple of people in trouble too. A third person struggles 100 metres from shore. Oh, wow. This is a situation you don't want. Couple of local surfers over. Yeah, it's good. We've got, we've got help from the public going on down there. I think they've got three patients between two lifeguards, which, if you do the maths, isn't great. A volunteer surf lifesaver backs up. The tragedy has been averted. I need to get this girl on a stable platform and out of the ocean. A young woman is being kept afloat by volunteer lifesavers and members of the public. I got there and the girl was being held. She was in excruciating pain. Something was horribly wrong. 
After she was violently dumped by a wave, the woman must be supported by volunteer lifesavers and members of the public. Minimising movement in the ocean just adds a kind of extremely difficult element. The spinal board is on its way. But in the rolling surf, Jules must find a quick solution. I need to get this girl on a stable platform and out of the ocean. Three, when you count, everyone has to turn to the body and we have to raise her. I think she's going to try and put them on the board, but I'd rather they just wait yeah. until the spinal board. I had to improvise, so I just went for it. Uh, actually, they did it pretty smooth. This one's too bad. Assisted by volunteer lifesavers and members of the public, Jules must get the woman through the surf without any sudden movements. There's a huge amount of responsibility when dealing with a spinal. Your treatment could be the difference between them walking home or them going home in a wheelchair. Every time she screamed and cringed, I swear, like, I felt that. I just kind of went into action mode and autopilot and started yelling out orders to people. We brought her in and just lay her down on the board in the sand and I guess that was when we started to really assess like her symptoms and, and what was happening. So what's your name? Yeah, you can swim out there. Sophie or something. Alright, I'm yeah, um, I want you to say as soon as you possibly can, okay? 21-year-old Sammy is at the beach alone. And is the pain just in your neck? Okay, back and neck. Did you get dumped by a wave? Mm -hmm. All right. Central to Lockie. My ambulance will be on its way. What do you guys want to do with the patient? Do you want to stay down there or come up here? Lying precariously on the edge of the board, Sammy must be stabilised. Sammy, what we're going to do now is we're just going to get you a little bit more straight so you're more comfortable. Don't when they're feeling a lot of pain, it's really hard to treat because you, you don't want them moving their head or their neck, and quite often when they are in such distress, they'll do that. I'm just going to give you some pain relief, Sammy, all right? So as soon as it's ready, we'll get you to suck on the green whistle. An analgesic gas offers the lifeguard's strongest form of pain relief. Big breast that you're dealing with. It doesn't taste very nice. It's OK. It's, just... it's like medicine, so it's going to taste a bit funky, but it's so important. It's just that important that you get it in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to help you, all right? A head-to-toe assessment will identify any loss of feeling or motor function. Can you just wiggle your toes at all for me? That's a really bad sign when someone has no feeling in their feet. Um, it's time to really start thinking about, you know, serious spinal damage. Sammy's symptoms indicate a potentially devastating spinal injury. The question now is whether or not it's permanent. Your left leg is numb. I you... felt numb when I hit my head. Yeah. Oh, the pain, pain. from my back. Right, That's just, all right, just, just take breathing. This... Remember, take your whistle breaths. in. Nice deep breaths. As lifeguards wait for paramedics to arrive, Sammy makes a shocking revelation. I've broken a neck before. OK, so how long ago did you have you broken your neck? A year and a half ago. And what were you doing a year and a half ago? Cheating. So I just kind of took a breath. She could have completely re-kind of cracked or broken something here. For the symptoms that she showed, that was the most serious case I've dealt with. So we're going to put a collar on you, all right? I guess I was fearful that she might lose her ability to walk. Lifeguards wait in hope for news that Sammy will make a full recovery. Um, guys, this is Sammy from yesterday. After being cleared of serious injury in hospital, Sammy has returned to say thanks.
When I went underneath the wave, I kind of like tumbled and smacked the back of my head against the sandbank. The back of your head? Yeah. yeah. It was pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jules is on the beach, actually. Get Jules. Come on. Lucky to Jules. The girl you brought out of the water yesterday is up at the tower, if you want to say hello. Yeah, copy. Thank you. I was pretty excited because I was thinking, OK, well, if she's here, she's on her feet and she's walked in, so this is fantastic news. How are you? Um, feeling a bit better now. What was the verdict? What's um, the inflammation around my C7? Okay. And I aggravated my C6 again. I've got full feeling back in my arms and legs. Yay, that's fantastic. <laughs> Happy days, you're smiling. <laughs> bit different to um, yesterday, isn't it? Hopefully, You um... won't forget this trip. <laughs> No, I won't. To have people come back and, and truly thank you and mean it, yeah, it's really special. Singlets has a memento. <laughs> and a dig in the back of my locker. It's got my name in it, so it's a permanent reminder of me, unfortunately, to wear, but at least uh, you got something. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You, you, must, you must have a big head like mine. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me head back now. Nah, it's all good. Whenever we treat a patient for an injury or a, a serious rescue, it'd be lovely to have all of them come back and let us know they're OK. When they do, in the case with Sammy, it's a great thing to put your mind at rest and to know that you've done a good job on the day. Do you want me in it? Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. Sammy, all about. Thank you. Bye.